here is my view at my new location. And it's a bit cold and breezy today. Yep, where am I? I'm in Nokomis, Florida. Just a smidgen, smidgen across the street, north across the street from Venice, Florida. And I got so lucky to find a spot right here at the water with a picnic table and a grill. And it's a cool day, so Danny's staying inside. And I had a trash up here in my flip-flops today because they broke. <laughs> with all the shoes I have, I can afford to get rid of them. I'm gonna step outside and show you a little bit about where I am. Show you a little bit about where I am. Here's my chair, here's my spot. And I, when it gets a little warmer, the sun is out, but when it gets a little bit warmer, I may even open up the hatch so I can look out on the water. Isn't this awesome? It's a cool day today. I actually have on a sweatshirt. Look at the water, it's so beautiful. The guys were out here fishing on the rocks here. take you for a walk around. I was so excited that I was able to get a spot that I could fit in because I'm so long. There I am, Anna. I had to put levelers down just to get it a little, little more level just to level it out a bit, but even somebody left their barbecue. People are pulling up now. I got here really, really early. Yeah, believe it or not, I was up like at six o'clock today. So everybody's out, not everybody, there's several people out here fishing, just enjoying the view. From what I understand, they even have a drum circle like tomorrow or the day after. I just wanted to get you another view here. Isn't that gorgeous? The jetty goes all the way around. A lot of people out there today on the beach are walking around, but it's not easy for me because I'm, my vehicle's so large. Oh, be nice if we had a dolphin kind of peek out or something, but let me show you something else. Live your life within the moment, moment, and don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. So yeah, I stick out a little bit. That's okay though, I'm not interfering with anybody. I was gonna park right over here in between the trees where that white van is, but there was somebody there already. And I didn't wanna get stuck in the sand because there is one spot where you can get stuck in the sand right here, I'll turn around, don't wanna make you dizzy. Yeah, right there. It's really some soft sugar sand. Oh, let's see if I can get those birds up there. I don't think that's, there they are. Ah, oh, well, look who else is here. So here's where the people put their kayaks in so you can't park in front of that area, only to get your kayaks in and out or your little boats in and out. People were out here fishing earlier. Beautiful, the water's nice and clean, but who's here? Yep, it's Marsha. Long last road trip. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's Marsha. So I met up with my friend Marsha from the tribe. And up, oh, she's in her rig reading. She's in there reading. It's not very warm out today. She's reading. 
And this here is a picnic area. No dogs allowed past this area where the where they have barbecues and the picnic tables and we're probably gonna cook out today, maybe. It depends. We'll see. It's a nice little area though. And they even got horseshoes over there. And of course they have garbage and recycle bins, which is nice. There's a little concession over here, I guess, and a bar. In the distance, there's a building with washrooms and stuff over there. And then a concession over here where you can get something to eat or drink, I think. And believe it or not, it says no smoking on this, in this area. No smoking, no overnight camping, and no smoking. Oh, look at that bird right over my camper. I wish it was nicer out. Hopefully it'll warm up. It's not noon yet, so I got really lucky with this spot. Oh, this is cute. Welcome to the North Jetty Trolley. What a cute name. Bait, t-shirts, hat. Postcards. Oh, they serve wine. Oh, and drinks, cocktails. Ice cream, that's dangerous, looks good. I heard they have music here at night. I guess I guess there's a grill in there, in that concession building, from what I understand. They have a big parking lot here. There's a couple of different parking lots coming in to this area, but um, I didn't want to try to get in here. If I came in here, I would have had to take up like five parking spaces, and I don't think people would have been very happy about that, <laughs> you know, but because um, I have my trailer. They don't have, I don't know why they don't, I would think that they might have RV parking somewhere, but I didn't see any. Although I think I see an RV all the way over there. But most people park and then they walk over and they all sit along the side over here and watch all the way down. I don't know how you get on the other side. I guess you go on a different street to get over there. And dogs are allowed in certain areas, but not all areas. So that's kind of cool. Danny's inside though. There's the concession. Looks like they have some t-shirts and stuff they sell over there. I thought Marcia said they might have showers here. I don't know, but let's see. The North Jelly Grill and Trolley. Then we saw the trolley. That's where I went to first. And here's the other concession, I guess, where they have the food. There's a window over here. I see an RV all the way over there. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe I'll park there tomorrow because we're coming back tomorrow. park on that side there's like good a bunch of tables and stuff over there picnic tables and 
And there's a, like I said, there's a class C fits in there, perfect. I don't know how hard it was for him to get in there though, but that's cool. Good to know for later. In case tomorrow I can't find a spot where I'm at. But of course the beach access is over here to get to the beach. You gotta go that way. Well, I'm going back to the camper because it feels like it's starting to warm up. So I'm gonna walk back and see what Miss Marsh is doing. Oh, I see another RV all the way over there too. I'll have to check that out on my way out. I always like, the, here's these showers, beach showers, that's probably what she meant. Um, I always like to check out any potential areas for me to park, you know? Always good to know. It's a beautiful day today. And it's really starting to warm up because it is high noon. High noon, there's the sun. Oh, and did I mention it's spring break? <laughs> yeah, it's spring break. You would have thought it would be a lot um, busier. I mean, but it's starting to get busy now. If the parking lots are filling up and this is the road coming in and there's like little parking areas all the way down this road where you come in off of the main highway or roadway off of um, Tamiami Trail. So yeah, it's uh, spring break, but <laughs> these are the old people, not the young people, because I don't think they come here for spring break. Even though they sell beer and wine here, there's beer and wine signs all over the place. And they got some alcohol smoothies in that, uh, in that little trolley. So I'm gonna go see what Marsh is up to and uh, now that it's starting to warm up and the wind is dying down and the sun is heating up. Hope you're having a great day. Stay tuned for more, maybe. Marcia's got herself a nice campsite. It's pretty windy. I hope that my mic is hiding that wind. This is our little beach that we're gonna sit at, hopefully. If it gets better, it's kind of nice. This is where they put the kayaks in. But we like to sit here because it's like having your own private little beach. Peaceful. Okay, there's Marsha. I'm sitting by her van, but she is out there cleaning up the beach. This is what she does when she comes here. She comes here regularly. She goes and cleans up all the cigarette butts. She's got her bucket and her little picker. There's her little picker there. And I'm zooming in so I can only get her so much. I wish she'd turn around because I'm show she's showing her best asset. Ha ha ha. But you'll see. Hopefully she'll turn around. Come on, Marsha, turn around. Me, I'm, I'm laying, I'm sitting in the sun. When I, we were gonna sit in the sun when I come back out and she's out cleaning up the beach. I normally would clean up the beach. I cleaned up my camper. <laughs> I had to clean up all around my camper. So there she is. All right, there she is. Let's see. She's got her little bucket and her little little picker and she picks up the cigarette butts. Isn't that nice of her? You know, it says no littering, $500 fine, but people do it anyway, you know what I'm saying. Maybe if people see her picking up the stuff that they won't throw it down anymore. Danny's in the camper, it's cool. And their dogs are allowed here only in certain areas, like they can't come over here in between where this beach area is here, where the kayaks get put in. They're not supposed to be over here. But they can be over where the rocks are, back, like in back of my camper. And on the, on the walkway. Yeah. 
beautiful houses out over there. Hey, we're gonna go see sunset. We'll take you with us. Marsha and I are ready to go. I just gotta go get her. And we're gonna go see sunset at Nokomis Beach. At Nokomis Beach. Starting to cool off. I think it's gonna get hot tonight. This is a. This is we were at the beach all day, and this is our. Um, I got a little sunburn. You can't probably see it in this, but we're getting ready to go to sunset today. But I'll show you. Uh, there it is back there. It hasn't gone down yet. I don't know if you can even see it. It's there, but it's getting ready. Marsha. Okay. We'll see you on the beach. There's Marsha getting her phone ready. Wait to the camera. The sun is so strong, I'm seeing dots in front of my eyes. It's it so, so strong. Watch this one coming in on an angle. Look at this. Well, I'd love to be out there body surfing. Got it. Actually, it's not touching the water yet. But it looks like it in my camera. Oh, wow, he jumped that wave. Look at those waves. dolphin out there. Oh, and the people that were fishing behind my camp today caught a shot. They threw it back. Oh, there it is. Oh, I saw it come up just for a second. It was right over there. Now it's gone. This wave rolling in. Oh, it's a big wave. And they're so loud. Oh, there it goes. It's almost gone.
here comes another one. Look at this one. Oh. Look at. Another big one. Okay, so today we're back at the beach. Back at the beach. Is there a song, Back at the Beach? I don't know. Beach bacon, bingo. Beach bacon, bingo. The sun's shining. It's me and Marsha. It's a little cool today. Having coffee. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful day. And I'm back in at the North Jetty. And I'm looking at the stuff written on the table. Love's all around you. La -da 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 -da. FDT's got it chained so people don't move it. And somebody left a BBQ for people that nice even though they have barbecues grills out here in some of the locations i'm just parked over about five spots from where i was yesterday this is perfect though we have a picnic table in between us and uh let's see i'll take a long shot picture of you for you i i probably could have went a little bit further back yeah it's cutting it close because i'm a little on level but it's okay So yesterday, there was a guy and gals that were fishing right here, right there, because I was parked right over there by that other picnic table yesterday. I was parked by that other picnic table yesterday. And um, they were fishing down here, and um, they caught a baby shark. She took a picture of it, and then she threw it back. She did catch a release. It was about uh, maybe maybe two feet long or foot and a half, two feet long. And um, the reason they say that the sharks uh, are in this bay area that comes in here at this jetty that goes out to the Gulf, out that way, is because a they had a beached whale. I know that sounds funny, right? You hear that term all the time. But yeah, they had a beached whale way out there, not too far off of this jetty. And... It died. It was a dead beached whale, and it brought in a lot of sharks in here. So what happened was, there was this guy who was fishing, and he caught a, about a seven-foot shark right over here, like right about where I'm standing. And he had it on his. He was fishing for shark, and he had it. He had it on his on his line, and as he was trying to get it reeled in. You're not going to believe this. I mean, but it is the absolute truth. This is what they were here. They witnessed it. A bigger shark came and scarfed up that shark. I didn't know sharks eat shark, but I guess they do. Because maybe he was bleeding or something from the hook. I don't know. It just sounds weird. Or maybe he was just freaking hungry. Shark cannibalism. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So I haven't seen any dolphins. I thought I saw one last night at sunset. I'll show you some more pictures of that beautiful sunset in case you missed my last video. And um, it's just gonna be a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. And we are at, I bet you that'd be cute. I have a cool island to um, kayak out to and then just sit there at suntan for a picnic for the day or take your wave runner out there yeah something about a boat rolling down the sea singing jimmy buffett and the kayak rental people are out here people going kayaking
and they're off for a kayaking expedition. Oh, and they have the drone up. That's pretty cool. So you rent a kayak and then they people put their drone up and they take pictures of you kayaking. This little boy got his first fish. We're cooking on the Barbie. I'm gonna make some burgers and Marsha's making some Italian sausage and baked potato and asparagus. Yep, it's a beautiful day still. At dinner time before we hit the road. Well, we did get to see dolphin. Two dolphins were kind of traveling together. We had a great couple of days and now we're getting ready to move on down the road. Do you believe this? Check out the sizes of these rigs. This one over here is not even gonna be able to turn the corner unless I leave. He'll hit me, he can't make the turn. It's gonna have to back up to get out of here if they wake up before the crowd gets here. This guy over here put a canopy up. I don't know what for, maybe he's having a picnic. Both of them got their generators on. One of them, this one over here to the left has got like six bikes on top of his truck. I guess they're spring break people. They can't even park in an RV spot. They're too big. Bigger than big. I mean, I'm not parked in an RV spot because I'm too long with the van, but the camper can't even fit in an RV spot. <laughs> a canopy? Oh my God. That's what ruins it for people like us. We're going to lose our right to go camp, to stay overnight at Cracker Barrel. And the thing is, it's starting to get crowded. People are pulling in. It's 1030. They want to spend the night in between going to their next stop. I guess he doesn't want his generator to get wet. I don't know. It's an awful big canopy for a generator. Thank goodness it's not real noisy. But I haven't heard the other guy crank his up yet. Hopefully he's going to put it at the back of his camper. <laughs> now my neighbor can't start his, his van. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. He got it started. I think he's going to leave. Yeah, he only pulled in there because he couldn't get past this other one that was in the way. There he goes. Like, I'm out of here. Too noisy, too much traffic. Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm getting ready to leave Cracker Barrel. Oh, it is sunny today. And Marsha and I are going our separate ways because I'm going to a Thousand Trails Park and she's going to meet up with some family, friends, or friends. So we'll meet up again down the road. Ooh, it's gonna be a hot one. It's already 74 and it's only 8.30. Yes, the RV Rebel Girl is up and out and about at 8 30 in the morning now that means that in illinois chicago which is our area which is my normal time <laughs> bye marcia which is my normal time it would be 7 30. if you look in the mirror you might see marcia back there i don't know maybe not see her rig back there yeah i see it a little bit in the big mirror 
Yep. There it is. Let me see. There's Marsha's rig. And I'm leaving. I am going to make a stop off. One stop at Camping World real quick and then I'll be on to my campground. 